Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius for the month of December. So this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are just going to see what comes up. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sagittarius. Happy birthday to you. All right, what do we got for Sagittarius? What do we have? Oh, you may be in defense mode. You may be in defense. You may be warding off somebody, pushing somebody away. Maybe everybody's pointing their finger at you, and you're like, back up, back up. That's what I feel like this is, is back up, folks. Um, you may be needing to defend yourself, stand your ground. It looks as, to me as though you're on top. These people are below you. They are below you, so keep that in mind. Ooh, ooh, the Knight of Swords moving fast, something charging. You could be under attack. <laughs> Sagittarius, or you may, I mean, this could go either way. This could go vice versa, but this is definitely under attack. So somebody may be feeling like they are under attack or things are changing very fast. You could be defending yourself and maybe now you're on top after being in a, under attack. Either way, this Knight of Swords, this is, this is somebody uh, charging in, charging forward, moving fast. It's like, I gotta do this. I'm gonna do it right now. So, yeah, something is happening. Somebody may be coming after you, or you may be going after them, or somebody could be coming into your life very, very quickly, and you go, you're go, you putting your hand up, and you're like, stop, stop, stop right there. You see? That's what it's like. It's like, stop, stop right there. You know, this person's coming in, you're like, back up. You may be stopping somebody right in their track. So, you know, hmm. interesting. We're going to put both of those right there because it feels as though something is happening. It's shocking. This could also be a shock. It could, all of a sudden, something could happen and it shocks you and it puts you in defense mode. You're like, <gasps> you know, just stop. So that's what I keep hearing, just stop. So, interesting. Queen of Swords reversed. You could be dealing with a bitch. I mean, I'm just being honest with you. Um, this person is uh, bitter. This person is bitter. They're hateful. Um, they may say things. They may lie. Tell lies. Say things about you. Could be somebody that's jealous. Somebody that is vindictive. This is somebody that is miserable and maybe trying to bring you down with them. Could be a sister. Could be a mother. Could be a co-worker. I do think it's a feminine. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. So you may be dealing with that person. Um, ooh. Ace of Wands. Now this is a this is a new exciting opportunity. It's like that's the hand of God giving you a new opportunity for growth. So something is changing. It is definitely going to be sudden. Both of these are sudden. So there's going to be you're about to experience a sudden change, and maybe it gives you power because this is a wand in your hand. It gives you some sort of power. It gives you some sort of strength. It gives you some sort of Ability put you on top. Whatever happens is going to give you something. The hair font. This is this is a this is a higher power that is involved. So it feels as though um, we have a higher power involved here. It's like. You may have been begging for something. Maybe you were begging for freedom or begging for salvation or begging for mercy or praying for something. You're going to get something. This is, this is, you could say this is God and, or a higher power. And it's, it's like reaching out from above and giving you this old, this opportunity. You're going to be given an exciting opportunity, which is going to put you on top. I see that. You're going to be put on top. And it's going to happen suddenly. Okay. 
And this is the sword of power. That's what's happening. It's like you're going to be given the power. You could have been, and this doesn't, this really doesn't have to be a feminine. It could be anybody. This is an energy. You could be dealing with somebody that is miserable and bitter and resentful and they've been taking it out on you. But I feel like there's going to be a shift of power here and you're going to get the power. You're going to be given this new opportunity. It's exciting. And it is very sudden. Whew. This person, and I don't think this is you, is going to experience an emotional loss because of their hatefulness. This is hatefulness. You're dealing with somebody that is hateful and spiteful. And they, they, there could be some tears. There could be some sort of, well, there's a, this is an emotional loss. So I think it's this person that is going to experience an emotional loss. There is definitely a loss. The King of Pentacles reverse. A loss of stability. A loss of security. They may have done some things illegally. They didn't care who they hurt. It was based... Whatever they were doing was based on show. And now there's going to be an emotional loss. Not, and it not only emotional, it's, it could be financial. There is financial loss and emotional loss here. And I think it's for this person. I don't, I don't think it's for you. I think there's a higher po power involved that is giving you the keys. I just happen to look at those keys. They're giving you the keys to something. For some of you, you could be get if you're single, you could be getting a new partner, a new sexual partner that charges into your life like <laughs> wildfire you know it's like where did this come from this is a change that is happening for for you that is so sudden and shocking that you are gonna be like wow wow i i do i feel like this is wow what is this higher power giving you the keys what is this it's the end of a of worry. I think somebody has been extremely exhausted and worried and stressed out. But the nine of swords reverse is coming out of a stressful situation and moving to a better place. You're going to a better, you're going to be in the driver's seat. And I kind of saw that here too. It's like, now you're the boss. Now you're in control. They're giving you, you could, somebody could get, be getting a new car. Remember, so what are they giving the keys to? This is, somebody could be getting a new car or a new ride or going to a new home or traveling to a new home or getting the keys to a new home. This is either a new home or a new car or new something. Keys to a new, the office, new key, you got keys. You're going to be given keys to something. And you may have been stressed out and thinking that you are going to be stuck in this stressful situation forever. I don't think so. You're going to be put in the driver's seat. You're going to be the boss. You're going to be the king of the road now. Something is happening. There could be something that um, has to do with a car here that changes things. Travel, perhaps, or moving. High Priestess reversed. Somebody has been in a state of repression, keeping to themselves, feeling isolated, definitely feeling alone. I see the loneliness, but I feel like things are absolutely going to change. There's no doubt. It's going to be, you're going to about to feel like a shock. Okay, these are both shocks. It's like a definitely sudden, a sudden change. High Priestess reversed. There's been some, you've been dealing with somebody that had hidden agendas. Somebody that was very selfish and jealous and, and whatever. Okay. Um, secretive. I think that we, somebody that is watching this has, has a, seriously experienced a loss of self because they were dealing with somebody that was stealing their energy, you know, stealing, it's like a psychic vampire. But I think this psychic vampire that you have been dealing with, it's like a higher power has been watching and now they're going to put you back in charge because this is back. You're going to be in charge. I'm telling you, trust me. Believe it. Believe it. Now the Hierophant is a sign of uh, higher power, uh, highest authority. It's also believe in yourself. Believe, believe, have faith. Okay, so I think that you, you're going to go through some sort of transformation that is going to put you back in charge of a situation where you may have felt powerless. It's like this higher power is giving you the power and taking it away from this miserable person who... 
put you through a repression, who uh, may have um, not respected you. This person, uh, the King of Pentacles reversed. This is somebody that is lazy, makes poor decisions, really, 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 really lazy, ruthless, does things illegally, um, doesn't know how to love either, not very kind, all focused on, very selfish. You are dealing with a very selfish individual, and I don't think it's you. Of course, this can go vice versa, but there is a very selfish individual here that is going to experience an emotional loss. Okay, this selfish individual is. Um, there's been some sort of secrets. What is this high priestess? Somebody has been keeping secrets. Whew. But there's about to be... I mean, this is a wish being granted. A healing. It's a time of hope and inspiration. This is a shining bright. Something is about to be shown. This person's secrets, or maybe it's even a secret life, I don't know. Something is about to show, be shown here with the star card. It's like you have nothing to be ashamed of. Perhaps the other person does. What is this star card? Could be dealing with an Aquarius. This is peace of mind. They're going to be giving you peace of mind after you not knowing what was going to happen. You were not aware. You're just, you may, you definitely, somebody's definitely been in a, in a repression wondering what's, when is this going to change? How is this going to change? It's like, it's like when you, you try to make things change and you, and you have to wait. It's anyway, it's hard to explain. Your wish was heard, and I think your wish is about to be granted. I think you've been waiting for a long time. It's like you've been under somebody else's spell. You've been under somebody else's negative influence, their psychic vampirism, however you pronounce that. And I feel like this person is... What's going to happen with this person? What's going to happen with this person? Whoa, there's going to be some sort of cut. There's going to be some sort of truth. And there's that power. The power is going to be taken away from this person. This person's going to get a wake-up call. They are. Whew. Now this is maybe maybe this is you because this is the King of Wands. But does I have, this is a protector. This could be somebody in protection services. Um, this is somebody could be an authority. This is a this is a leader of some sort. This person is going to see the truth in a situation or they're going to see something. Because this person is seeing something. Seeing something clearly. Wow, Ten of Swords. It feels like somebody could be going to jail. They could be going to prison. I just happened to notice that they kind of look like bars to me. This person's going to get very... Somebody could get really upset... They could, um, I don't know, this is a freedom, this is a liberation, I don't know if there's going to be, I don't know, I just, I just, I don't know, I hate to say this, um, but I just, I don't know if there's uh, going to be a car accident or something, and I hate to say that, but that's what I just heard, or saw, or thought, or something, like, yeah, anyway, um, The power is definitely going to be given to you. It's being taken away from this person that hurt you and betrayed you and being given to you. And I feel like you were dealing with an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. doesn't have to be. could have been a Cancer. could have been a Taurus. But you have a lot of air here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be, you also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But the power, see that power is being given to you. And I saw it here as well. You're going to be put in charge. And it feels like we have somebody here that is, is either, it's almost, I feel like they're going to, to jail or prison or, or, um, even worse, you take it that for however you want, but it feels like, I mean, this is a, it's, it's the end of something and it, and it, and it, and it's, 
It is. It's the end of something. I think that definitely you asked for something. You asked for something to end. You asked for freedom. You asked for this, this betrayal, this pain to end, and it's gonna. It's like, you're, I'm telling you what, Sagittarius, this is a yes. This is shedding the old and bringing in the new. Finding the resources to be successful right here. It's like you asked for it, and here it is. You're going. You're. This is major change for you. That is that is universally driven. I'm telling you what. This and this is like you. You totally getting something that you asked for. It has to. I think it has to do with keys. Whether it's keys to a new house or keys to the house, keys to the office, keys to a car, whatever it is. I feel, and it has to do with power as well. You're going to be put in the driver's seat. You're going to be put in control. I feel as though you have manifested. It's almost like a dream come true. This is a blessing. Although it may be painful because that Ten of Swords is painful. There could be a painful ending here that leads to a blessing in disguise. So yes, I. this is a yes. Yes. It's painful, but it's a blessing. So yes, I think there's a painful ending that leads to a blessing. And the power is now given to you. I think you're going to get this new exciting opportunity. You're going to take it and it's going to put you right back on top. That's what I see. So Sagittarius, be prepared. I think December is going to be a good month. I I see a divine connection as well. You are very much divinely connected to a higher power. Um, there's a higher consciousness here. And you may not have thought that you were being heard or answered, but you are. You were. Okay, this repression that you have been in is over. It's over, it's over, it's over, it's over. As long as you have faith and you believe. Because that is what this card is. And this is pointing up to a higher power as well. If you don't believe, <laughs> then why would they, why would, you know, if you don't believe, you have to believe, you have to have faith. There's a new exciting opportunity. If you are single, there is somebody, if you are single and you are looking and that's what you want, there is somebody flying into your life. If that's what you want. For others of you, this is a swift change that happens so suddenly that it shocks you and it causes an ending. There is an ending here. There is. There is an ending. And there's somebody headed in a new direction. And I think this change happens just so sudden that you are shocked. So be prepared for a shock in December that is guided from above. And this could be planetary influences. It doesn't have to be God. It's a higher power. I, you know, this is, there's some sort of higher uh, power that is involved here that is changing your direction for the better. And it's taking you out of this state of repression. It's taking you out of this unhappy situation where you have been, uh, it's like, stolen from because it's that psychic vampire it's like somebody has been stealing your energy they've been stealing your your energy because they were so negative they were so miserable and you know it's like the people you hang around with are the people that you, uh, you tend to take in you know that's the energies that you that you take in so you have to remove yourself from them situations to start the healing process. So I think that you are going to be healing this month. You're going to be healing from a painful situation that ends abruptly. But this ending is going to give you the power, put you back in the driver's seat, and it's going to be a complete blessing, but it's not going to be painless. So good luck. <laughs>